Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K23 video, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another episode of Badge Breakdown. Now, as you can see on screen, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the off-ball pass badge. Now, if you read the description, it says it makes players more difficult to get past when playing off-ball, as they can grab and hold their matchup. And don't get their ankles broken as often. And what they mean by don't get their ankles broken as often, they're not talking about uh, when defending the, uh, someone with the ankle breaker badge. They're talking about uh, off-ball juke moves and stuff like that, spin moves, uh, starter steps and stuff like that. This badge is the direct counter to the... Um, let me go over here and show you guys really quickly. It's the direct counter to the slippery off-ball badge, which is like the offensive version of... Uh, off ball pass it makes you you know super harder to uh defend off ball wise um you know makes you you know move through screens and stuff like that better and quicker um that's going to be the direct counter to that badge which is the off ball pass badge when guys try to hit you with those juke moves and those cuts and moving behind screens and stuff like that you're going to be uh harder to get loose you're going to grab their jersey grab their shirt you're going to bump them you know chest bump them go body to body and stuff like that it makes it harder to you know uh, make those off ball cuts and movements and stuff like that now as far as this badge goes i haven't used this badge on hall of fame uh, mostly because this badge really is overkill on Hall of Fame, in my opinion. I've used it on bronze, I've used it on silver, and I've used it on gold. And honestly, you're going to call me crazy, but I feel like this badge is really, really good for those lower-rated uh, defensive builds. Um, now, as you can see... On this build that I'm creating or whatever like that, I'm just in the building and stuff like that. You can see I only have a 70 perimeter defense. Now, if this is what I mean by this badge is really suited for those lower um, rated defensive builds. When you're a lower rated defensive build, you're not going to be able to get gold clamps. You're not going to have the ability to get gold challenger and interceptor and glove and all of these really good defensive badges that you see right here on the screen. So... When you don't have the ability to get any of those good badges, you only got like seven or eight badge points anyway, you can throw those points into a gold off-ball pass. Now, I run gold off-ball pass on my three-level scorer, um, and this badge is just phenomenal on gold. I didn't really see many animations or bump animations and stuff like that at bronze or silver, but I feel like gold is really the sweet spot for this badge, man. I got a lot of bump animations, a lot of grabbing of the jerseys and stuff like that with gold or ball pass. So, truthfully, I think the sweet spot is gold. I would recommend that you run gold, but I would really recommend this for those lower rated builds. Now, obviously, for my lockdown builds and stuff like that, if you do have the points to spare, then you can throw this on on your lockdown, your two-way shooters, you know what I'm saying, your two-way sharps and, you know, those two-way builds. But you're probably going to have better badges and higher level of badges that you can use those points towards. You're not going to really need off-ball pass. But again, I feel like this badge can really, really help those lower rated defensive builds and stuff like that because when, you know... Uh, you're not as good defensively. It's harder for you to stay in front of your man because you don't have high perimeter and, you know, stuff like that. You don't have high level of clamps and stuff like that. You're getting beat back door with back door cuts and stuff like that. Your dude is driving on you and stuff like that. This badge is going to help prevent a lot of those cuts and stuff like that, especially for those guys who, you know, are often guarding like, you know, uh, lockdowns or dudes who like to sit corner those guys that like to sit corner three or make those backdoor cuts for alley-oops and stuff like that and dunks this badge is going to be your saving grace so again my uh recommendation is for you to throw this on gold if you can get it up to gold i mean that's where i seen the best animations that's where i seen consistent uh jersey grabs and stuff like that you can throw it on bronze and just forget about it and hope that you get you know some animations here and there but in my opinion, bronze and silver level is just not really worth it. I've seen the most grabs and animations and stuff like that. You know, consistent jersey grabs, like, you know, time after time after time on the gold level. I don't really think this badge is, uh, like, real necessity badge for you to waste the points on going to a Hall of Fame. And I know people would probably even feel like uh, gold is, uh, you know, overkill. But 
again i would really recommend this for those lower rated defensive builds because you aren't gonna have you're gonna have like seven or eight points you're gonna probably have like five to four points left over once you get challenger and clamps and like ankle braces or pick dodger you're gonna have those points left over and you're not gonna be able to put them on anything because uh for those lower rated defensive builds you're not gonna have glove you're not gonna have challenger or clamps at gold or hall of fame level so you might as well put that on something that you can actually use to really play uh better defense and stuff like that and i'm talking primarily to the people who play rec and pro-am if you play part I mean, off-ball pest probably isn't as viable to you, but, you know, for those of you who do play rec, you're going to get a lot of use out of this badge on the gold level. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K23 content.